All right, uh, Brothers of Deconstruction, this is going to be our first review that goes up. I'm still working on editing our uh, Power Ranger review that's going to come up. It's a lot of footage and it's a headache, so that's why that's not up yet. Today we're going to be reviewing Captain America the Winter Soldier. As you can see, I'm wearing my nice little Captain America shirt. All right, before we start, spoiler warning, just to be safe. Um... Basically, we're just going to give some general thoughts on the film, what we liked, what we didn't like, and the overall grade. So, I'll let you go first. Sweet tits on the toilet. This movie was amazing. Just so amazing to me. Uh, to, for me, Marvel's best outing today had uh, just firing on all cylinders for me. Story, acting, just everything was perfect perfectly cast I enjoyed it like I'm a Winter Soldier fan just read the comic for like the 12th time just to get ready for this movie and while they didn't do everything that's in the comic they still like kept the essence and kept Ed Brubaker in it and then I kind of spazzed the fuck out when I saw him but the way they took it it's just like you may not have been comic book accurate, but I enjoy where you're going and where you're just setting me up to just keeping it going. And it was fantastic. What didn't you like? Um, like the uh, Winter Soldier Cap fight on a fallen helicarrier, how the two helicarriers crashed into each other, and that one was the one that was still slowly crashing the one that they were on like that was as always I hate the Stan Lee cameos in these movies it's just it's getting old and it's really uh, I get it it's Stan Lee just stop it already and those are my two major complaints like those those are so far it's like the only things that I don't like I mean it's, it's probably why it's my favorite Marvel movie so far it just, just Everything was just right. So I'm enjoying that. General grade? Oh, I'm going to go strong A. It's just everything. I fucking love this one, man. Uh, I, I, got, I got to bring up the... the, just the you know, I wish I had the comic book. Just show the panel. It was like, Bucky. Like, who the hell is Bucky? I lost my shit for the end when Buck picked up the shield. I kind of jumped on my little brother here. But uh, I turned into a fucking 16-year-old girl at a Justin Bieber concert. That's what this movie did to me. And I enjoyed it. Um, it was a really... Going in, it was a really... Going in, I was excited for the movie just because this seemed like it was going to break the mold of other Marvel films. Um, the Russo brothers, they were saying how, you know, it was like a, a 1970s political thriller and all of that. And we were slowly finding out that, you know, things happened in this movie um, that really changed the world of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. So it kind of changes the world that, was, that we've known. And... Uh, so I was excited going into the film and then seeing it, I, I watched a few clips here and there. So sitting there in the theater, it was, I don't want to say surreal, but it was exciting to see the movie go on beyond, oh, this clip and then the clip fades to black. I really liked the dialogue. It was a really a really good written movie like the dialogue is very the dialogue is probably one of the strongest points of the movie um behind the action which is what i also love this was probably hands down the best action movie that marvel like the best action done in any of their other movies is arguably arguably the best marvel movie that they've released um i would say it moves up into being my favorite Marvel movie release. Um, some of the things that I didn't like, one thing is that there were a couple of things that seemed slightly convenient 
mm-hmm. as far as um, the whole fight in the Falling Her- Helicarrier. Like, oh, you know, we got the two the two main characters of the movie on this he- Helicarrier. Let's take it down slowly. I like the Stan Lee cameo, so that's not one of my complaints. Really, the 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 Helicarrier thing was one of my main was the main complaint that I can come off the top of my head with. Um, and that's saying something. Uh, and so I think it was a really good movie. The humor was very good, and that's a, that that goes back to the dialogue because a lot of a lot of people I don't want to say a lot of people, but a lot of comic book fans are starting to hate the humor in Marvel movies. That's the humor is needed to me. Like it's separate. It's like. The humor lets me know that the movies aren't taking themselves too seriously. Yeah. Like, you you, you get movies that just take themselves too seriously, and it's like, yeah, I know what you're trying to do, but just, like, look what you're putting out there. Like, this is, this is a dude who's basically steroided up and was frozen for 70 years. It's like, you want to have fun with that, and... They do. It, it works. Yeah. As long as it works. If you get people... You have Chris Evans who understands comedy. If you look at his track record, he understands. You get a bunch of people who understand their roles. And it's like... And you can convincingly do the comedy. It works. It's just... Yeah. And so the humor wasn't one of the things that I hated. Um, probably the Helicarrier fight was probably the main thing that I hated. And a couple of the other, like... It's really nitpicking, like, a lot of the convenient things, like, oh, how did Maria Hill get into the convoy after they were captured? Things like that, but obviously it's not. it didn't destroy my overall viewing of the movie. One of, my, one of the other things that I also liked that I forgot to get to is that I really, really, really liked Anthony Mackie as Falcon. Oh, my goodness. That's He's probably... Fantastic. He like, and I was hearing that he was gonna be a really, really lovable character yeah. and all that stuff, and he really is. Like and they established him incredibly quickly, like and it, like for how long? But like his introduction, what he was doing, they gave his backstory. Like that scene with him helping the vets, just show like this is a dude. Like just, just he knows what he's been through, like. He, like, relates to Cap because although he wasn't frozen for so long, he's still dealing with what he left behind. Mm-hmm. And it was like, yes, that's a great characterization. And it was just, it was like, just establish quick, explain quick, and it did more to make you relate and just connect with this character. Yeah. And that's, that's great writing and great acting. Yeah. And just everything just lined up. It was like Sam Wilson was an amazing character, and Mackie played the hell out of that role. Yeah. And so overall, the grade is probably the grade is a strong A for me as well. Probably borderline A plus. Um, I know we've kind of been going back and forth in between like my likes and dislikes about the movie. Um, so now we'll get into general thoughts. Um, another thing that I kind of really like that. Black Widow. I really like Black Widow in this movie because it allowed you... It put her in a, in a vulnerable state. And that, once again, I keep up... I kind of... Out of the group, I keep up more with, like, the news on the movies and things like that. And I read, like, the press junkets and things like that. And, you know, Scarlett Johansson was saying that we get to see Natasha in a more vulnerable state because, you know, Fury... She's basically come along into S.H.I.E.L.D. trusting Fury. And now that, you know, she finds out that, hey, you know, I can still trust him, but everything else is kind of compromised and you don't know who to trust. Um, And so I think Cap 2 really establishes her character. And so you can really take her more seriously now. Not saying that you couldn't before, but I don't think that people will have as much of a problem as her having bigger roles in future films because along with Hawkeye and Hulk she has a bigger role it's already been said that she has a bit a really important role in Age of Ultron and so I think I think that this movie is, is gonna really really put like 
some gravitas and some weight behind a, a few of these characters. Like, uh, what my thing with Black Widow was uh, when she was introduced in Iron Man 2. It's like, okay, she's a S.H.I.E.L.D. agent. Then she's side by, like, she's basically just, from that little run, she was put on the same plateau as everybody else. I was like, but you're not established. Like, I have no reason to care about you. Oh, she's the one who got the information from Loki and blah, blah, blah. I was like, you really haven't given me anything to a reason to care about this character. And this movie did, like, it established it. It was like, okay, here's her working side by side with Cap. Here's her, you know, going out in the world. Oh, Steve doesn't even trust her yet. But then she gives him a reason to. And it was like, okay, then now I have no problem with her just being thrusted in to just the, the big players that is already established. And I'm looking forward to you know, a completely different, you no, know, just general. I'm looking forward to see what they're going to do with this whole Agent 13 thing. I'm an Agent 13 fan. One of my favorite characters. Just like, not throw away, but just role player characters in the Captain America universe. It's like, I've been waiting for Agent 13 since the first cap. I think this is just a really overall well made film. Mm -hmm. um, it starts out being, it starts out heavy with the action, and it kind of doesn't let up. Yeah. And when it did, and when it does, it's, it, it moves along. It still moves along quickly. Like I don't think I don't think I've read any any complaints on the pacing, but I don't think there I don't have any complaints for it because I really wanted the movie. I really expected the movie to like keep going. Like the movie is probably I think it's I think it's two hours and sixteen minutes. I think that's the exact runtime of the movie, and it didn't really seem like it at all to no. me. And like, I was. I was really just just dialed into this movie from start to finish and like it just is like it draws you in and like you 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 know like if you seen avengers with cap first one first avenger you 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 know what you what you're getting so like all the major players are there and then it's like okay this this is what they do then it's like then they introduce sam wilson and they're having their talk about Oh, yeah, like, why did you get out and like shows that Cap's doubting, like, himself, but not well, not just himself, but everything around him. And it's, it's just like, oh, there, there's a little bit of character down. I was like, but I I can't leave this behind because it's just fucking who I am. And it's just like, like, it's an action movie. It's a drama. It's, it's, it's a comedy. Like, it's just like they take every genre. And just throw that into a melting pot and just just serves you just one of the greatest meals you've ever had in your life. And I think overall it's a, it's a really well-made movie and I can see why they locked the Russo brothers in to help develop Cap 3. And I'm really interested to see where they're going to go with that. One of, one of the things that I really liked was it goes back to the first Avenger was when I introduced Arnim Zola. He's like in the little microscope and I like I spazzed out when I first saw that. It was like, oh hey look, it's Zola's face. And now he's the Arnim Zola that we know inside the computer. Like it doesn't have the robotic body with the chest. But I was like, yes, yeah, first step to and he's in the computer. I also like the fact that they did not kill Winter Soldier or Brock Rumlow, who is Crossbones. Um, and, I, I mean, I don't think they killed Zola either. No. But Marvel has a track record of kind of killing some of their villains. And I think they did a, good, a very good job of not doing that this time around. Because then that just leaves the door open for them to pop up later for... To to get get like personal vengeance against the heroes. Yeah. Um and so Although I think they're gonna go someplace completely different Winter Soldier. And I you put a Winter Soldier movie out and I'm I'm there. Uh it will be it can be like the worst movie made just by you putting a Winter Soldier movie out, I will be there. But just that the final scene of Bucky looking at the Bucky exhibit in the Smithsonian just, just the face and like the 
basically it's the weight of the world just hitting him of this is who I was and this is what I've done realizing that Cap was telling him the truth it it harkens back to the Winter Soldier story arc in a comic like when he finds out that he's the Winter Soldier and he's destroying the cube like you think he's dead but then he basically just goes on that journey and it was like alright I gotta straighten myself out because I've got two histories that are polar opposites and I gotta figure out who I am with those histories so, Captain America, but yeah, still. Yeah, so as you can see, um, we think the movie is pre is pretty well made. It's pretty good, arguably Marvel's best movie to date. Um, and so yeah, it gets a A from both of us, mm -hmm. and and then we can't wait to see how Age of Ultron, you know, turns out. And so up next is Guardians of the Galaxy, which I'm looking very 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 forward to and this one isn't set in stone but we're thinking about doing the days of future past review which will most likely be just me yelling and flipping tables probably uh, and, and so we'll, hopefully we'll start getting more reviews up um like i said before we'll i'm gonna try to get get the power rangers review edited where I'm still having some some problems as far as figuring out how to put it together because we used two cameras at the time and on this one we're using one so I'm out of frame and, and on one camera and in frame on another and so that's gonna we might just end up having to do the review all over yeah. again but hopefully I can salvage it um, and so yeah so Captain America the Winter Soldier gets a it gets a four out of a four and a half out of five stars for me. Maybe even a hard five stars, yeah. and it gets a. It's one of the best movies I've seen in quite some time. So yeah, uh, more reviews, general idiocy, hopefully interviews in the future. So uh, we're going to put like subscribe somewhere. Uh, so click it if you, I guess, enjoy this video or enjoy the sensual stylings of our voices latest so uh brothers of deconstruction numbers and i am chuck and go see this movie please if you're on the fence and you value my opinion people who don't know me go see this movie